Hi, and welcome to the 10forums.com. In this video, you will see how to sync your Windows 10 libraries with OneDrive. Step 1. Create the libraries you will need. First, add libraries to the folder view of the File Explorer. Right-click on the left pane and select Show Libraries. Select Libraries on the left pane and add all the libraries you will need either by right-clicking and selecting New Library or clicking New Item on the ribbon and selecting Library. Name your libraries as you wish. To change the library icon, right-click the library and select Properties, click Change Icon and select a new icon for your library. Step 2. Create the OneDrive folders. Go to your main OneDrive folder. Now create the folders you need. I prefer using the same folder names in OneDrive than I used for library names. Step 3. Add OneDrive folders to libraries. Now go back to libraries. Select a library, right-click it and select Properties. Click Add. Browse to corresponding OneDrive folder. Select it and click Include folder. I prefer removing all other folders from a library but there is no problem if you want to leave the default user folders in your libraries. Repeat this for each library. From now on, whenever you save a file, save it to a corresponding library. Your saved files will now be synced with OneDrive cloud storage and you can access them not only locally from this computer, but from any computer or mobile device. Why to sync libraries? Why not save directly to OneDrive and forget the libraries? The answer is very simple. You might one day decide that you don't want to sync your ISO 
image download folder anymore to OneDrive with its 2, 3, even 4 gigabyte files. In this case, it is really easy to remove the OneDrive folder from the library and add a local folder instead. You still keep saving your files to libraries, but within the library properties you decide which libraries will be synced and which not. In this way you can control the amount and the size and the type of the files you will sync with your OneDrive. For instance, if you have not bought extra storage capacity on OneDrive and you have not an Office 365 subscription to get a free 1 terabyte of OneDrive, you are limited to 15 gigabytes of free storage. In this case, it is not a good idea to sync all your downloads, your movies, your videos, your mp3s and so on. Also, your broadband connection might have a slower upload speed. In my case, I use a 10 megabit or 1.2 megabyte upload connection and it is enough to keep all my files synced. I recommend you don't sync all your files if you don't have at least 2 megabit per second upload speed. The beauty of this system is that this file I just created on my local computer with Word can now be accessed from any device connected to internet. <laughs>